Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. I know this problem will probably cause some discussion and we can basically talk about it because I'm going to mention some stuff that is supposed to be a little controversial. Anyways, we have x squared minus 4 to the power of 3x minus 6 and that's equal to 1 and we're going to be solving for x values. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the real solutions and then we can kind of maybe spend some time on complex solutions as well. So I'm going to split it up into three cases, right? And those cases are the following. The base can be one. This will be my first case. And I don't really care what the exponent is because once the base is one, we're all good because all powers of one is going to be one, right? Of course, there are some exceptions to this, like one to the power one half in the complex world is going to be a little different because that's multi-valued. But that's a different story. Let's go ahead and keep it real first. So from here we get x squared equals 5 and that gives us two solutions x equals root 5 and negative root 5. And those solutions are going to work, right? So I can take them. They're rational but I don't care about the exponent, right? So we can definitely go ahead and check this out like take root square root of 5 square root minus 4 and then the new exponent will be 3 root 5 minus 6. This will be 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 to the power 3 root 5 minus 6 is of course 1 because any power of 1 in the real world is just going to be 1, right? Okay, are you convinced? Let's go ahead and talk about the second case. Second case is basically assuming that the base is negative 1 and the exponent being even. But of course this requires that x is a nice value like an integer maybe or at least 3x minus 6 is an integer, right? So x kind of must be divisible by 3 maybe uh, or yeah something like that. Anyways you get the idea. Let's add 4 to both sides x squared equals 3. From here we get two solutions again just like before root 3 and negative root 3. But guess what when you plug those in that doesn't give you an even number because that does not even give you an integer. So we're going to have to reject these solutions. If you don't, if you don't, here's what happens. We're going to set the base equal to negative 1 and the exponent equal to something like this. And what does that mean, right? How do you raise negative 1 to the power 3 root 5? That would be a really good question in that case. You could probably just complexify it, but that's going to go into the complex world. So we'll talk about that a little later. But let's talk about the third case. The third case is the exponent being 0 because think about it, a to the power 0 is 1, right? And I know some people say that this is only true if a does not equal 0, right? So a to the power 0 equals 1 when a does not equal 0. People say that because they think 0 to the power 0 does not equal 1. But do you think the same way? Now, here's the thing. If x is equal to 2, I'm going to plug it in x squared minus 4 over 3x minus 6. x squared minus 4 is also going to be 0 and I'll be getting 0 to the power 0. Wait a minute. Is that 1? That's a good question, right? Now, if you don't think it's 1, go ahead and watch this video. Hopefully, you'll be convinced or change your mind. Anyways, so that's going to give us another solution and let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the complex cases. For example, one of the things we talked about was, okay, if this is equal to 1 and this could be a negative 1, in that case, x, one of the values would be root 3. And going off of that, I get something like negative 1 to the power 3 root 3, 3 root 3 minus 6. Now, could this be 1? Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Now, with the complex word, we can go ahead and write it as follows. Since negative 1 is represented by a number that's on the real axis that's a real number that's why right it has no imaginary parts its angle or argument can be defined as pi but we're allowed to add multiples of 2 pi to it make sense in other words this can be written as e to the power i times pi plus 2 pi n that is negative 1 and i want to raise it to the power 3 root 3 minus 6 and i want this to be 1 so I can also write 1 as a complex number or complexify it, but let's go ahead and do it next. 
here we kind of have a product so we can kind of write it as e to the power i times and by the way this can be kind of simplified to 2n plus 1 pi so I can kind of write it as i pi and then multiply by 2n plus 1 or 2n plus 1 pi i doesn't matter how you write it it's the same thing times 3 root 3 minus 6 a lot of factors and then let's go ahead and write the one as a complex number e to the power i times 2 pi but instead of 2 pi we'll use 2 pi k multiples of 2 pi make sense okay awesome that's the same as 0 radians or 2 pi radians or 4 pi radians and so on and so forth great we have e's on both sides let's get rid of them by natural logging and this is going to give us 2n plus 1 pi i multiply by 3 root 3 minus 6 equals i times 2 pi k. And guess what? A lot of good things are going to cancel out, such as pi i and i pi. Awesome. And this is going to give us what? That's going to be a pretty interesting scenario because from here, and what are we supposed to solve for, by the way, right? We're supposed to solve for x. Oh, so we were just checking if this can ever be 1. Yes. So this should check for integer values. At least if you can find one pair, we'll be good to go. So we kind of got something like this. An odd integer multiplied by an irrational number should give us an even integer. And as we know, this is not true because if you think about it, the right-hand side is a rational number, but the left-hand side is irrational. So this cannot be happening as you all know right obviously the proof is a little different like why is this an irrational number you can easily prove it like set it equal to t and then solve for root 3 and we know it's not irrational i mean it's not rational so looks like there are no complex solutions in my opinion at least going off of negative one you can try different options one of the things you can do is you can also natural log both sides but of course do write this as 2 pi ki before you do it and then once you natural log both sides you're going to get this times this is equal to 2 pi ki so we kind of had like a really non-standard weird equation because we have this polynomial or linear and we have the ln of a quadratic and that product is supposed to equal a constant uh, could there be solutions? Ab absolutely. And if you use Wolfram Alpha, it's probably going to give you some type of solution. I haven't tried it, but you're more than welcome to do it. And let us know in the comment section down below. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.